Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First off, I just wanted to thank everyone who has supported this channel in the past. Because of you, I was able to buy a new espresso machine, the Breville Duo Temp Pro. First off, we're going to have to grind our beans. The whole point of these videos is to show you a beginner's perspective and document my improvement over the next few months. From what I've gathered on YouTube tutorials, it seems like it takes some trial and error to dial in your machine. This consists of changing the grind size of the coffee and also the brew time. I will link some YouTube videos in the description that explain how to change those variables based on the taste. I'm not gonna lie, I already pulled a shot with this machine a few days ago and it turned out to be very watery and acidic. Based on that, I'm gonna make the grind setting more coarse and the extraction time should be longer. Next up, we're gonna be weighing our coffee. We're gonna be pulling a ristretto shot, which is a two to one ratio. This means I'm gonna weigh out around 16 to 17 grams of coffee and should come out to around 32 grams in the end after I brew. Now, you might've realized that I'm using a bottomless portafilter. This enables me to actually see the extraction process, unlike with a spouted portafilter, which is completely covered. One of the biggest issues I ran into was channeling. This is where the coffee is unevenly distributed, causing channels and essentially just spraying water out of the bottom of the portafilter, creating a big mess. Now on Amazon, you can find some tools that can break up the coffee, but this time around, I just use a keycap puller and it pretty much did the same thing. Now using the other end of the distributor, I'm making sure that the surface is flat. So when I flip it over to the other side, we can tamp it down correctly. Now we're gonna give it three tamps, rotating it around each time and making sure to press down evenly. From what I've seen, this is definitely the most important step. If you don't tamp down correctly, you're just gonna get a bunch of channeling like I talked about before, and you're just gonna have another huge mess to clean up. Time to pull the shot. I'm going to lock in the portafilter and place a scale on the drip tray. We're shooting for around 32 to 34 grams. I'm gonna stop the machine right up before just because there is a little runoff. As you can see, this is the pre-infusion stage. I'm not really sure what it does, but I know it's similar to when you bloom Vietnamese coffee or any drip coffee in general. At around seven seconds, we can finally see a stream forming in the center. This is definitely a good sign. Uh, the only problem I can see right now is that there's drips coming from the upper left side of the portafilter. Now the total brew time was around 30 seconds and came out to around 34 grams. I'm pretty happy with this. And there's even a visible crema, which should help with our latte art. Now, as if pulling the shot wasn't hard enough, it's time to steam the milk. Purge the steam wand and then using whole milk, fill up your pitcher to around the bottom of where the spout starts. A reminder that I'm not an expert at this, but the starting position for steaming milk is placing the wand at the three o'clock position, just under the surface of the milk. We are going to be adding air to the milk, which is called stretching for the first 10 to 15 seconds. After those 10 to 15 seconds, I'm going to dip the wand into the milk more to create a whirlpool and incorporate the foam throughout the milk. We are also bringing the milk up to temperature. A great rule of thumb for this is to just place your hand on the side of the pitcher. And once it gets too hot, that's when you need to stop. Reminder to purge your steam wand and wipe it down with a damp cloth. Transfer it into another pitcher to evenly distribute the milk and give it a few taps to break the big bubbles. Now for an attempt at latte art. Obviously this will get a lot better with practice and just being more confident and slow with my movements. Now getting this down is really hard, but like anything else, just keep at it. Uh, one of the problems with having an espresso machine at home is that you only make around one to two drinks a day. So you're not gonna get the same practice as like say a barista who makes like 100 to 200 drinks a day. This brings us to the end. Again, thank you for the constant support on our channel. I am looking forward to making a lot more content with the new machine and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.